Hey guys, it's Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop, and I'm here with Amanda Herring, and we're gonna show you how to make the Friendship Quilt Along, which is the quilt behind us. And in this video, we're focusing on the Gracious Block, and we're gonna show you how you can do wool applique and incorporate it into this awesome quilt. Let's talk about the materials you're gonna need to make the Gracious Block. In your kit, you will have some wool pieces provided. Those are for you to use at your discretion in any block that you want to replace pieces or change pieces as you wish. Today, we're gonna to just show how to do an entire block out of wool. So what, we've, what we're going to need is we're going to need our wool pieces, whatever colors that you choose. We're gonna need the friendship templates in gracious one and fun one. We're gonna need some floss, and I've selected my favorite Orafel flosses. Our background piece, needles, a needle threader if your eyes are like mine, and the button pack that is also available to go along with this quilt along. The first thing that we're gonna to want to do is using our template, we're going to trace onto our wool and cut it out. Sometimes when you're tracing onto wool, it's not quite like tracing onto cotton. You have to go over your markings a little bit more. The wool that is in your kit is not felted wool. If you want to felt it, you can. It will just shrink it up a little bit. You'll have a little bit less wool, but it does change the texture of your wool. So if you prefer a felted wool, be sure to do that prior to this step. Okay, you can see my markings here. Now I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut this out. Okay, so now we have our piece of felt, a piece of wool cut out. We're gonna take our background fabric and we're gonna lay our wool on it. I'm gonna use these forked pins to secure my wool piece in place. Okay, next I'm going to need my floss. I like to use two pieces, two strands from the six strand piece, so we'll need to divide it out. You can use more pieces if you prefer, more strands if you prefer, but I like to use two. So I'm just going to I've got two strands. I'm going to take my needle and I'll show you how to do a quilter's knot. Alright, to do a quilter's knot you're going to set your thread on your finger Put your needle on top of your thread and wrap your thread around your needle uh, four, five, six times. I do a little bit less with um, floss than I do with regular thread. And then I'm going to slide that all the way down the needle, all the way down to the end of the thread into a nice little knot. I'm going to applique this piece on using a blanket stitch. So to start my blanket stitch, I'm going to start at one of these corners right here. All right, so to start out, normally a blanket stitch has a stitch that holds it in place on each end. But to start, we're only gonna have a placeholder on one side. So we're gonna come in here. We're gonna come in through our felt, through the fabric, and up. And we're gonna make sure that the floss stays behind this, the needle I just pulled up. Now right here is where we would have another stitch normally, and we're gonna catch that when we come around the back side. So the next, we're just gonna continue on in the same way, through the wool, through the fabric, and make sure we're coming in front of this thread here. When I'm doing this, I like to try to make sure I get the same number of stitches in each scallop. So I've completed one, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, and I'm not gonna count these end two, so I wanna make sure I get six in here on the next one. If you make a mistake, this is not hard to undo. 
just go back and fix. It's very forgiving. All right, so let's just say we've gone all the way around the end. Here we are finishing up where we started. And you remember how this had only one anchor point, not two. We're just gonna bring our needle in on the place where the other anchor point would be to give that stitch the support that it needs and pull it into place nicely. And then you can knot it off on the back and you're all done. All right, so Let's just imagine that you finished blanket stitching all the way around this piece. The next thing you would do is put on your next piece of wool, pin it in place, and blanket stitch around that piece as well. Then finally, you're gonna finish off with a lovely little button right there in the middle. And I like to use a little bit of floss in there. And you can mix and match your colors however you want. And this is a really fun way to add a lot of visual interest and texture to your friendship quilt. Make sure to check out all of the other Friendship Quilt Along videos we have about applique techniques and piecing to help you finish your friendship quilt.